Ghanaian actress, movie producer, model, entrepreneur, activist, and philanthropist Yvonne Nelson has come a long way in the creative arts industry in Ghana and she is currently a household name in Ghana and the host of African countries. In this documentary, you will discover how the beautiful, intelligent, brave, smart, and gorgeous actress rose from a teenage actress to become the pride of Ghanaian movie industry. Early Life Yvonne Nelson, the last of four siblings, was born on the 12th of November 1985 in the city of Accra, but she hails from Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. Yvonne and her siblings were raised by a single mother after her father, Mr. O. Nelson, who is believed to have a Brazilian lineage, left them when she was still very young. However, following a photo of Yvonne and her father which appeared online shortly after her father passed on, the tribute she wrote to her father on that story shows that there was some level of reunification with her dad before he passed on. She started schooling at St. Martin de Porres School in Accra and later the superstar proceeded to study at the Agri Memorial Senior High School. After high school, she went to Central University College in Accra where she studied Human Resource Management. Career Before becoming a nationally known actress, the almost six feet tall Yvonne Nelson had love for music especially rap music, as well as beauty pageantry. Fixers, premiums at that promo! Bravo, bravo, bravo. Tickets near 50 She first participated in beauty contests when she was in Agri Memorial High School and she won the Miss Agri title. The charming actress would later contest for Miss Ghana Beauty Pageant in 2005. Though she didn't win, but she clinched the Best Talent Recognition Award thanks to an original rap song she performed which touched on the topic of HIV and AIDS disease. Yvonne also grabbed the title of Miss Photogenic during the contest. Years later, the actress would reveal in an interview with Kweku Sachi Ado on Star FM's The Launch that she is grateful she didn't win Miss Ghana contest because she would not have been an actress today. Nevertheless, following her outstanding performance at the Miss Ghana pageant, young Yvonne Nelson won a two-year contract with Maxim Cosmetics, which made her a face of their products. Another success which quickly followed was a role in a TV series called Fortune Island, which actually kickstarted her acting career. The first major production that Yvonne Nelson took part in was called The Return of Beyoncé, where she starred alongside Ghanaian movie giants like Nadia Bwari, Van Vika, and Jackie Appiah. She would move on to get her first lead role in 2007 in a movie called Princess Tyra. This movie would bring her to the public eye. In 2008, she starred in Playboy. Since then, many movie roles followed, including making a debut in Nollywood and even becoming the first Ghanaian actress to appear in an Ivorian movie. Even Nelson usually plays bad girl roles in movies. However, in real life, she is very far from the archetype. Yvonne admits that she does not smoke or drink and in general, she is nothing like the usual movie roles. She says that people need to understand that she is an actress, meaning she receives the scripts and interprets the character in the movie. She added that as much as she loves playing romantic roles, she would not go beyond kissing in a movie. The actress has so far been featured in more than 200 movies with some of the most popular ones being Deadly Passion, The Queen's Pride, Yvonne's Tears, one Night in Vegas, amongst others. Business Venture Around 2011, Yvonne Nelson decided to try her hand at producing films and this would see her establishing a film production company called YN Productions. 
The first movie they made was called The Prize and it was released the same year. In 2012, they produced Single and Married and House of Gold in 2013. They later won Best Picture at the Ghana Movie Awards and Best Ghanaian Movie at 2013 City People Entertainment Awards. She would go on to produce other movies like Sin City, Fix Us, a series called Heels and Sneakers, amongst others. The actress also ventured into the fashion business with the establishment of a fashion store called YN's Closet. This shop boasts of the most fashionable designer clothes collections shipped in from across the globe. She also has a hairline called YN Hairline. Interestingly, the actress is seriously involved in real estate investment. Perhaps her biggest investment so far is her resort called YN Island, which is located in Nada in the Volta region of Ghana. Awards Following her work as an actress and a producer, the Ghanaian movie star has gained many nominations and also picked up a couple of awards. In 2009, she was named Joy FM 9th with the star's Best Actress. In 2010, she was adjudged Ghana's Favorite Actress at the prestigious Ghana Movie Awards and the face of Ghana's Best Actress from 2011 to 2012 in the United States of America. She picked Ghana's Best Actress Award at the August 2011 City People Awards. Prior to that, her song about glaucoma picked up a prize at Ghana Music Awards. Other awards she picked are GMA Favorite Actress Award 2010, PAMSA Best International Actress Award 2012, Best Picture for Single and Married GMA 2012. She was also nominated twice at the African Movie Academy Awards AMAS and adjudged Africa's Best Actress at the 2012 African Entertainment Award in Malaysia. Hottest Ghanaian Actress in Nollywood City People Awards 2013 Still in 2013, Yvonne Nelson won the Pan-African Actress Award at the annual Nigerian Entertainment Awards which was held in New York City in the United States of America. She picked up seven awards at the 2013 Zafar Global Awards held in London, UK. Foundation Nelson is very big on charity and fighting for human rights. In 2010, she launched a foundation called Yvonne Nelson Glaucoma Foundation, the purpose of which was to educate people on the glaucoma eye ailment and its harmful effects. The main inspiration came after her family member died from this disease. With support from other Ghanaian celebrities, she recorded an all-star charity single and shot a video to help educate people. As a result of her philanthropic activities, particularly in glaucoma, she was honored by Go Woman magazine and Printex for her foundation and film career. Unfortunately, Yvonne Nelson Glaucoma Foundation quickly went under due to unexpected financial challenges. Nevertheless, Yvonne Nelson was awarded a special award at the MTN Heroes of Change in recognition of her charity work in fighting glaucoma. Campaign Yvonne Nelson's celebrity status was put to the test when in 2015 she championed a Doomsome Must Go campaign aimed at getting the Ghanaian government to wake up to the challenges of fixing the country's electricity crisis at the time. The peaceful vigil by the actress and her fellow celebrities didn't go unnoticed by the government who promptly responded to the electricity challenges. In 2019, she disclosed that she may consider playing an active role in politics and would not rule out the possibility of becoming the first female president of the country. She made this known during an interview on Class 91.3 FM's Touch of Class program. She added that she is working on a master's degree to help her fit into the role if the time ever comes. Love Life for an actress as beautiful as Yvonne Nelson, there is no way her life would be devoid of male admirers. Back in high school, the actress revealed that she had a crush on musician Chase. 
but she added that they didn't date. Next would be radio TV personality and musician John Germain, whose sources say was Yvonne Nelson's first love right after her fame, but the duo says they were never in a relationship. Same would not be the claim with Nigerian musician Inyanya Mbok, who she dated for 8 months precisely from May 2012 to December 2012. The musician even mentioned her name in one of his popular songs titled Your Waste. There was a rumor that she and Nigerian musician Ice Prince may be seeing each other, but it turned out to be a closeness initiated by Ice Prince's involvement as an actor in Yvonne Nelson's movie called House of Gold. There were still rumors that Ghanaian footballer Derek Boateng is in a relationship with the actress at one time. Derek Boateng, however, refuted it. In 2017, the Ghanaian movie industry was caught by surprise when the public found out that Yvonne Nelson was not only pregnant but gave birth to a daughter named Ryan Roberts. The media found out that the man behind it was British photographer called Jamie Roberts. Unfortunately, not everything turned out so smooth as expected as news quickly made the rounds that Jamie was in a relationship with a Nigerian lady named Killa Harrison and even had children with her. Online Presence she was the first Ghanaian actress to be verified on Twitter. She is very popular on social media with more than 6 million followers on Instagram. On Facebook, she has almost 4 million followers. Endorsements Yvonne received her first endorsement in 2005 when she won a 2-year contract as the face of Maxim Cosmetics. After years of building her brand as an influential figure in the society, she was signed as brand ambassador for Ghana telecommunication giant Vodafone in 2012. In 2013, she became the face of Zaron hair and makeup and became their brand ambassador in the whole of West Africa. In 2015, she signed an endorsement contract with Glow Telecommunication Network. She has also been seen on adverts for Vitamilk, Serene Insurance, and Casa Trazaco. Net worth. As a film producer, director, actor, model, and entrepreneur, Yvonne Nelson's net worth is currently put as $900,000. This makes her one of the richest actresses in West Africa. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe before leaving.